This video demonstrates the installation process of single-phase high-voltage energy storage inverter. Attention! Electrical equipment can only be installed and maintained by qualified electrical technicians. Please read the user manual before installation and check whether the accessories in the box are complete. The inverter is heavy. Please pay attention to personnel safety during handling and installation. Please install the inverter in a safe location that meets the requirements for easy ventilation and heat dissipation. And avoid direct sunlight. When the inverter is running, there may be risks of high temperature and high voltage. Please install the inverter in a location that is not easily accessible. Appropriate space should be reserved around the installation location of the inverter. Using a level ruler to ensure collimation level after determined the installation position of the back plate. Mark the punch point with a marker. Punch holes with a hammer drill at the marked points. Insert the expansion bolts and the accessories into the four punched holes. Align to the exposed screws and install the back plate in correct place. Fix the back plate onto the wall using washers and nuts provided. Tighten the bolt. Fix the four corners of the back plate in the same way. Back plate installation is complete. Align the inverter with the hooks on the back panel and hang it. Screw the fixing screws included in the package into the fixing holes. Inverter installation completed. Connect the ground wires crimped with OT terminal to the ground point on the side of the inverter. When the solar module is exposed to the sun, high voltage will appear on the DC wire. Do not touch the DC wire. Before connecting the inverter, please ensure that the open circuit voltage of the photovoltaic string does not exceed the limit of the inverter. The solar modules connected to the same MPPT must have the same specification, the same orientation, and the same inclination. Rotate the inner nut of the inverter and remove the terminal protection cover. Pass the PV cable through the bottom PV of the inverter. Access the corresponding port. This product is compatible with the battery modules shown in the table. This installation uses Pillin Force H2 lithium battery. For battery installation, please refer to the battery manufacturer's instructions to install the battery. Pass one end of the battery power cable through the bat at the bottom of the inverter and connect to the corresponding port. One end is connected to the battery end. Pass the load end cable through the AC backup at the bottom of the inverter. Access BPE, VL1, VL2, VN corresponding ports. In same way, pass the grid end cable through the bottom of the inverter AC, grid. Access to GL1, GL2, GN corresponding ports. Pass the BMS cable through the bottom COM one second of the inverter. Connect the blue cable to BMS CAN H and the blue and white cable to BMS CAN L. The other end is connected to the CAN interface of the battery. Take the red and yellow cables through the COM at the bottom of the inverter. One end is connected to the inverter meter A. Meter B. The other end is connected to the corresponding port of the meter A and B. If you choose Jinlong Solis Datalagar, please connect it to the COM port at the bottom of the inverter. Connect the antenna to the Wi-Fi at the bottom of the inverter.
Please visually check first to make sure all cables are connected properly. You can pull the cable lightly to confirm that the cable connection is tight. Close the AC circuit breaker and battery switch. Close the DC switch. If the DC input voltage is greater than the startup voltage of the inverter, the inverter will start up. The commission part needs to be connected to the app commission. The inverter will start normal operation. If the inverter fails, press the red button, which means the emergency button, to power off the transmitter and module level receivers. The switch above THD RSD is turned to 1, which means that the utility power supplies power to the load on the backup side. The switch above the RSD is turned to 2 means the inverter supplies power to the backup load.